Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the national anthem of the United States of America and the invocation offered this morning by Chaplain Major Joshua Gilliam. Would you bow with me as I lead us in prayer? Let's pray. Oh, great God, we pause this morning to give you thanks. We thank you, Lord, for our partner nations. Thank you for the relationship that you have fostered, particularly between the United States and Thailand, the cooperation, the trust, the mutual respect. We especially thank you, Father, for the leader that stands with us today. We're blessed to be associated with a soldier of such character and, and such excellence. And so we in turn give honor this morning to General Serapong, in whom honor is due. We now ask that, that you would use this leader in our, in our partnership with Thailand to defend the weak, to free the oppressed, and to bring peace to all peoples. In your most precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Please be seated. Welcome to the United States Army Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame induction ceremony of General Surapong Sirwanadef, Chief of Defense Forces, Royal Thai Armed Forces, CGSOC Class of 1994. In 1973, the United States Army Command and General Staff College, the Kansas City chapter of the Military Order of the World Wars, and the Alumni Association, now known as the CGSC Foundation, jointly established the International Hall of Fame. The Hall's purpose is to provide a prestigious and visible means of recognition for international graduates who through military merit have attained one of the highest positions of importance in their respective countries armed forces or who have held an equivalent position by rank or responsibility in a multinational military organization. To date, we have inducted 270 international graduates from 72 different nations into the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College's International Hall of Fame. Fifteen of those inductees served as either head of state or head of government for their respective nation. Today we have the honor of welcoming, of welcoming General Surapong into the International Hall of Fame. It's my pleasure to introduce the official party for today's ceremony. Starting at your right, Lieutenant General Michael Lundy, Commanding General of the U.S. Army Combined Arms Center, and Commandant of the Command and General Staff College. To his right is our honoree, 
General Surapong Sirwanadeth, Chief of Defense Forces, Royal Thai Armed Forces. To the right of General Surapong is Lieutenant General Retired John Miller, Chairman CGSC Foundation Board of Trustees, and to his right is Captain Jim Davis, U.S. Coast Guard Retired, Representative of the Greater Kansas City Chapter of the Military Order of the World Wars. Our awards bearer this morning is Army Captain Rafael Dominguez. We extend a warm welcome to several distinguished guests with us today. The Honorable Nancy Bowder, Mayor of Leavenworth, Kansas. Lieutenant General Tiwa Pickett-Corn, Director of Joint Intelligence, Thai Defense Forces. Lieutenant General Robert Arder, United States Army Retired, Civilian Aide to the Secretary of the Army for the State of Kansas. Ambassador David Lambert, former United States Ambassador to the Kingdom of Thailand. Mrs. Michael Lundy, spouse of the Commandant, U.S. Army Command and General Staff College. Mrs. Van Vemol Sawanadeth, spouse of the Chief of Defense Forces, and their daughter, Matila. Colonel Roger Donland, United States Army retired, Medal of Honor recipient, and Mrs. Donland. General officers, commanders, Command Sergeants Major, International Liaison Officers, Virginia Military Institute alumni, International Military Students from the Pacific Command area, and leadership from both the Kansas City Chapter of People to People International and Leavenworth Lansing Operation International. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant to the Command and General Staff College, Lieutenant General Michael Lundy. Well, again, welcome to all of our distinguished guests today. Ms. Mayor, it's great to see you here. Certainly for General and Mrs. Arter, we always really appreciate you coming out. Mr. Ambassador, thanks for being here. And certainly the Donalins, uh, thank you for being here. And most importantly, welcome to General Serpong's family and all of his comrades from Thailand. I think as you look at the relationship that our nations have had together over the years, and we've had over 250 Thai officers come through the Commanding General Staff College, but the relationship that we have between our two nations is very special. Uh, the engagement in the Pacific, the importance there all the way back from pre-Vietnam time to today, uh, we've built a foundation of trust between our nations and that is really embodied by who we're inducting today. You know, I had a chance to take a look back and, you know, I pulled it up when I saw that General Serpong had earned the MMAS, so I pulled up his MMAS as a good commandant would to grade it to see what he did. And although you got a B-plus back then, I think I give you an A today, sir, because I would tell you that we can reflect back on that, and I was discussing this with him before, that he wrote a, his MMAS on then Burma, but was emerging as better known as Myanmar now, uh, but it was really how, we, how the U.S. should approach their policy with Burma or Myanmar. And now General Surapong, over the years, has been able to act on that MMAS, and frankly, that's probably one of his, what he said was one of his most proud uh, achievements, is being able to bring that relationship to better fruition between not only the United States and Myanmar, but also between Thailand and Myanmar, and really to make them a more viable member of our team out there in the Pacific. So not many get to do that, to actually be able to write about, to research, and then to be able to execute and rise to the highest level uh, within their military as the Chief of Defense Forces and, uh, sir, we're certainly proud today to be able to honor you uh, into our International Hall of Fame. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and continue with the presentation. Please keep your seats as we read the induction order. Attention to orders. The United States Army Command and General Staff College, be it known, that General Surapong Sawanadath, Chief of Defense Forces, Royal Thai Armed Forces, in recognition of outstanding military achievement in service to his country's armed forces, has been inducted into the United States Army Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame. In testimony whereof, and by authority vested in us, we do confer upon him this honor given at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, this 11th day of July, 2017. 
General Lundy and General Surapong will now unveil the portrait that we will place in the International Hall of Fame. <laughs> Lieutenant General Miller will present a gift to General Surapong, designating him an honorary life constituent in the United States Army Command and General Staff College Foundation. Captain Davis will present a certificate on behalf of the Military Order of the World Wars signifying General Surapong's status as an inductee into the International Hall of Fame. General Surapong will offer a gift to the college to be accepted by Lieutenant General Lundy and then share with us his remarks. General Michael Lundy, the Commandant of the United States Army Command and General Staff College. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to thank you and to express my sincere appreciation to Lieutenant General Lundy and everyone who helped make this beautiful and memorable ceremony happen today. Today is a day to remember for me and my family. I feel most honored to be inducted into the Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame. I know and respect so many of the previous recipients and their accomplishments. Therefore, I am honored and pleased to follow their footsteps. The U.S. Army Command and General Staff College is a prestigious institute which has delivered many prominent leaders worldwide, including Thailand. This go back to the year 1946, when Thailand started sending officers to attend the course at the Command and General Staff College. To date, there are a total of 293 Thai graduates and two current students. The knowledge and skill that the alumni gain from the Command and General Staff College has been applied in service of the nations. Many have achieved great success in their military career and have been designated to important political and military positions, including four prime ministers, 14 ministers, eight defense permanent secretary, eight chief of defense force, five commander-in-chief of the Royal Thai Army, and 227 of them made to rank of generals. I sincerely hope that in the future, more military students and alumni from Thailand will also get the honor to be inducted into this prestigious International Hall of Fame, which will serve as a stepping stone with solid foundation for our tie of goodwill and friendship. Beyond that, it is such a special privilege to be back and receive this honor at Fort Leavenworth, a place so special to me in my heart, the place that helped shape me into what I am today. And I am so grateful for that. Fort Leavenworth is also where I gained valuable knowledge immeasurable experience and, of course, enduring friendships. Certainly, just like the famous phrase, the best year of your life. The ties of friendship fostered here have also allowed us 
the military officers from many countries and of many nationalities to networking and build a community based on mutual trust and understanding. Indeed, we benefit from such friendship and togetherness in time of crisis, which contribute to the regional as well as the global peace and stability. Lastly, I would also like to express my sincere appreciation to the United States Armed Forces and especially the U.S. Army for your friendship and continued support. And please rest assured that I will do my best in my capacity to further strengthen the cordial tie between our two armed forces as well as our two nations, which has flourished for nearly 200 years. Thank you. Please rise as we play the national anthem of the Kingdom of Thailand. Thank you all for joining us. We invite you to give personal congratulations to our inductee.